Test for barium ion. Preliminary tests. First step is observation. Salts of barium ions are white. Second step, dissolve end full spatula of salt in 50 milliliters of water. When salts of barium ions dissolve in water, they form colorless solution. Third step, divide the solution into test tubes, put around 5 milliliters in each test tube. Chemicals required. 1. Sodium hydroxide solution. 2. Sodium carbonate solution. 3. Diluted sulfuric acid. 4. Potassium chromate solution. 5. Ammonium oxalate solution. 6. Diluted hydrochloric acid. 7. Acetic acid solution. 8. Diluted ammonia. To the first test tube, add sodium hydroxide solution dropwise until in excess. As you see, sodium hydroxide react with barium ion to form white precipitate, which is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. To the second test tube, add sodium carbonate solution dropwise until in excess. As you see, sodium carbonate react with barium ion to form white precipitate, which is insoluble in excess sodium carbonate. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. To the third test tube, add diluted sulfuric acid solution. As you see, diluted sulfuric acid react with barium ion to form white precipitate. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. To the fourth test tube, add few drops of ammonium oxalate solution followed by diluted hydrochloric acid. As you see, ammonium oxalate reacts with barium ion to form white precipitate, which is soluble in hydrochloric acid solution.
Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. To the fifth test tube, add ammonia solution dropwise until in excess. As you see, ammonia react with barium ion to form white precipitate, which is insoluble in excess of ammonia. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. Confirmatory tests. First confirmatory test. To the sixth test tube, add few drops of ammonium oxalate solution followed by acetic acid. As you see, ammonium oxalate reacts with barium ion to form white precipitate, which is soluble in acetic acid solution. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. Second confirmatory test. To the seventh test tube, Add few drops of potassium chromate solution followed by sodium hydroxide solution. As you see, potassium chromate react with barium ion to form yellow precipitate, which is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide solution. Below, there is ionic equation for this reaction. Third confirmatory test. To the eighth test tube, add few drops of potassium chromate solution followed by diluted hydrochloric acid and then add diluted sulfuric acid. As you see, potassium chromate reacts with barium ion to form yellow precipitate, which is soluble in hydrochloric acid and precipitate reappears on addition of sulfuric acid. Summary of this experiment Observation The color of salt is white. The white color of salt indicates that the cation present in salt is non-transitional metal cation. For examples group 1 cation, group 2 cation, group 3 cation, group 4 cation, and so on. In first test tube, sodium hydroxide solution is added. The cations that form white precipitate with sodium hydroxide and precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide, are magnesium ion, calcium ion, and barium ion. In second test tube, sodium carbonate solution is added. 
the cations from above list that form white precipitate with sodium carbonate and precipitate is insoluble in excess of sodium carbonate are magnesium ion, calcium ion, and barium ion. In third test tube diluted sulfuric acid is added. The cations from above list that form white precipitate with diluted sulfuric are calcium ion and barium ion. In fourth test tube, ammonium oxalate solution is added. The cations from above list that form white precipitate with ammonium oxalate solution and precipitate is soluble in hydrochloric acid are calcium ion and barium ion. In fifth test tube, ammonia solution is added. The cation from above list that form white precipitate with ammonia solution is barium ion. In sixth test tube, ammonium oxalate solution followed by acetic acid is added. The cation from above cations that form white precipitate with ammonium oxalate solution and precipitate is soluble in acetic acid is barium ion. Barium ion is confirmed. The cation present in the salt is barium ion. Another confirmatory test. In seventh test tube, potassium chromate solution followed by sodium hydroxide solution is added. The cation that forms yellow precipitate with potassium chromate solution and precipitate is insoluble in sodium hydroxide solution is barium ion. Barium ion is confirmed. The cation present in the salt is barium ion. Another confirmatory test. In eighth test tube, Potassium chromate solution followed by hydrochloric acid solution are added followed by sulfuric acid. The cation that forms yellow precipitate with potassium chromate solution and precipitate is soluble in hydrochloric acid, and yellow precipitate reappears on addition of sulfuric acid, is barium ion. Barium ion is confirmed. The cation present in the salt is barium ion. Barium ion has many confirmatory tests, but one from above is enough to confirm presence barium ion in solution. In the description there are links for testing other cations and anions. Thank you for watching.